Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to connect and integrate Printful with WooCommerce. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so we have this WooCommerce shop over here and we would like to integrate it with Printful so every product that we will add in Printful will be displayed in our WooCommerce shop. So there are two conditions that need to be met before that. The first thing that our permalinks need to be anything but plain. So we have the plain option, it can't be plain, it can be anything else like post name, custom structure, etc. And the second thing that we'll need to do is to enable WooCommerce API feature. So we can go to WooCommerce settings, advanced, legacy API, check this box and save the changes. Once you did uh, both of these things, we can move on to our plugin screen and install the Printful add-on. So let's go to Plugins, Add New, and here we will look for Printful. The first result on the left will be Printful to WooCommerce integration. We can click on Install Now, and then on Activate. Once you activated the plugin, uh, connecting to WooCommerce is fairly easy. We'll go to the new Printful tab, and here we'll click on the connect button. It will open a new window for us where we will need to approve the integration between the two apps and we'll click on approve. Once we click on approve, it will ask us to sign up or register a new account or we can also uh, click continue to use a current account and then click on the connect button. Once you connected between the two, uh, you need to wait a couple of seconds for the connection to be successful and after that you'll have the option to add new products just like so and once you see this option that means the connection was successful so let's click on add product and here you can choose what kind of product you would like to add you have many options to choose from clothes coffee mugs accessories shoes jewelry etc for example, let's choose this shirt and we can start customizing it. And here we have a few options to choose from. We can decide what colors will be available, the sizes, etc. For example, right now all the sizes are available and I will also check additional colors. Now I can see examples of what it will look like. And of course, I can also add custom image, my logo or anything else. You can upload a new one or use an already existing one like we have over here. This is our fav icon. So once I uploaded it, I can then resize it just like so by dragging one of the corners. And when I'm ready to move on or when I'm satisfied with the results, I'm just going to click on proceed to mockups. On this mockup page, it will show us some extra details regarding the product, some extra angles, what it will look like from the back side, etc. And there are not too much to do over here. Just move on to the next screen. And here you can enter your own custom description regarding the product or you can leave it as is. I do recommend you to enter a unique content so you'll be different from other stores. Then scroll down and make sure this box, a published product is checked so it will be available on your WooCommerce store. The next page will show you how much it will cost you to create it uh, on Printful. The middle column is your revenue and the retail price is the combination of the two. So for example, it will cost you to create it $38 and you'll make four bucks out of it, but we can change the revenue to a higher number like 10 and then it will adjust accordingly. So the retail price will reflect the printful price plus uh, the revenue. When done, click on submit to store. It will take a minute or two to sync between the two apps and right now it's pushing the product to your WooCommerce store. Once it finished, you'll be able to see the product over here in your products list. You can access it by clicking on view in WooCommerce or you can go directly to your WooCommerce store and into the product screen and you can see it here at the top of the list. Again, we created it in Printful, but we can see it in WooCommerce. We can click on view and it will look exactly like any other WooCommerce uh, product with the tabs and the options, etc. Then we can choose our color, size and edit to cart. 
and now we can check out and the order will be submitted to Printful. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.